Welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play Gabriel Knight, where we left off. We got into some voo fun. I was gonna say voodoo right there. We got into some fun party times, and we partied so hard that we ended up back home with some funky powder that knocked us out, and possession, and all that fun stuff. Um, but anywho, uh, Grace saved our butts. Thank you, Grace. And we need to call both guard, but you know what? You know what? Right before that, we're gonna we're gonna talk to her, Grace. Maybe apologize for our party partiness as we party hard. And so let's 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 talk to her. Grace, about last night. I've already said everything I have to say about that. Oh. Got any ideas, Grace? Yeah. Get out of town. You're so helpful. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I would totally agree with her. Um, let's quickly read the newspaper, because I bet you there's some... Today's news. Yes, yes, thank you. There's gonna be some interesting stuff in the tabloids. Times Picayune, dated June 24th, 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murders case in the papers today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou Saint-Jean last night. Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's the ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel's horoscope today reads... Get out of town. <laughs> Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight. And when to get the hell out of town. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. I, I just love it that... <clears throat> Excuse me. I just love it that, you know, Gracie and the newspaper have told us to get out of town. Uh, I think that's a huge hint. It's time for us to get out of town. But we're gonna bug Grace first. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? See if anything message-wise came up. Do you have messages for me? Nope. Nope. Uh, can you research? Could sure. Nope, oh, nothing. I can't. Yeah, I'm okay. wondering what happens when we leave. So let's let's just leave. See what happens. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. What if I go talk to him? I'm curious. Let's go. Posted on the door of the museum is a sign saying, "Close and refer the notice." Okay. Drugstore. The Dixieland drugstore is locked in by. Okay. Um, I don't think I can do anything, so I think it's a clear thing that I have to call um, his uncle. So we're gonna do that. Phew, it's the ex. You already know, excitement of seeing you is killing me. Cause he smells. Cause he wears a leather, leather jacket way too much. Oh, we should have some coffee. Let's have some coffee. <laughs> Am I de delaying the inedible here of making a phone call? I think so. Mmm, good coffee. Now our day's complete. Or morning, I guess. Let's go make this phone call. Which, he's taking a really weird route. But whatever. Okay, let's let's make this phone call. Uh, what was the phone number again? Uh, I think that was it. I think. Was that it? The number writ. Uh, I think so. I think. How did we do it? Did we go like this? And then that. Gabriel. Uh, I can't. Gabriel. Okay. I'm guessing that's it. Um, I gotta write this down again because it's been a while. I think this is his phone number. Four, nine, 
zero nine three two four three 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 e okay so let's use the phone let's you've already got me oh <laughs> okay so on four nine zero nine three two four three 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 guten tag sie haben schloss rede erreicht this is gabriel knight can i speak to wolfgang please ja herr knight ein moment bitte gabriel it's so good to hear your voice i had such a dream last night there's a good reason for that uncle wolfgang we need to talk Gabriel fills in Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. Ugh, it is even worse than I thought. You bet it is. We have to talk about what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. I... We got a lot of talking to do, so let's ask him... Are you sure? Voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? It sounds as though you have learned much during your investigation in New Orleans. Perhaps you will fill me in when we have a chance to sit down and talk. No, I'll just ask you again. What can you tell me about voodoo? It's not... Okay, voodoo murders. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I know only what you have told me. They seem to be very similar to the killings in Gunther's journal. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I know okay, only... nothing new there. New Orleans. What can you tell me about New Orleans? It was just another American city to me, until I started dreaming about you. Now I feel it is not safe for you there. I wish you would leave. That is creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, anywho. What can you tell me? I told you I wish you would leave there, Gabriel. Okay, okay, jeez. This is like... The third person who has told me to leave. But I'm gonna keep asking you questions. And then maybe I'll decide. Do you know anything about snakes? I have not studied the subject. I have an intense dislike for them. Understandable. There's a certain archaeologist who does not like snakes either. Do you know anything about snakes? I have not studied... Wait, is this Indiana Jones? Could it be? No, it's not, but... Yeah, anywho. <laughs> what can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I'm afraid I've never heard of it. Well, you should. What can you tell me... Uh, can we... Do you have any idea what Cabri Sans Coeur means? No, what does it mean? It means goat without horns. It's a term used for human sacrifice in voodoo. Well, let's hope we can avoid any more of that in this family. Yeah, about that. It may happen. I think. It seems like it. It seems like someone's gonna croak soon or later. Do you know anything more about Cabri Sans Coeur? I know only what you've told me, but... Okay, uh, Marie? Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? No, I'm afraid not. Do you know anything... No, uh, Hound Fool. I've heard rumors of a secret Hound Fool here in New Orleans. Yeah, I am sure they have a temple there, and probably a very elaborate one. You should not go near it, though. Not alone. Wait a second. I bet you... I'm gonna bet you that the the base is gonna be at the cemetery at the um the the, the tombstone of the angel. The fact that you need like a handprint or something to gain access, I, I'm thinking that's where the the hound four is. It, it's just a hunch. It, yeah, I'm just gonna do it as a hunch. Do you know anything about animal masks? Yes, Tetlos people wear animal masks for their rituals, don't they? It is not at all uncommon. Many occult groups are based heavily on animal totems. Animals have such pure, primal traits. Spirituality, good or bad, is about reaching these pure levels. Aggressive and cunning like the snake. Agile and nurturing like the monkey. Even our family is associated with the image of a lion. What about cat? Would cat be like evil, maniacal, or just adorable and lazy? Or a meme? I think cats are now associated as a meme. So be careful when you wear your cat masks, people. You may start saying, I need this, and a couple other things. And maybe Grumpy Cat. Anywho, I'm rambling. Let's go, Veve. 
Do you know anything about Veves? It is a visual symbol of one or more lore. Each lore has its own sign, which is used to summon it. Okay. Can you tell me more? Do you know anything else about Veves? I've already given you what limited knowledge I have on the subject. Okay, we totally forgot to ask about this one again. Tell me more about animal masks. I've already... Okay, nothing. Uh, did I double-click on this one? I'll just do it. Any idea? No, if I were in New Orleans and could look around, something might look familiar to me. Strike a, a chord, so to speak. But I'm not, so you must use your... Okay, um... I kind of skipped that, but essentially, same thing. Nope, doesn't know. Let's say Dumbala. Have you ever heard of Dumbala? Dumbala is a snake. He is a loa, a voodoo god. Yes. He's one of the primary loa of the Gedi tribe. I see. Good work. That information might prove useful. Yes, our detective skills have proved worthy and, you know, writing skills. Do you know anything more about Dumbala? No, my knowledge of the lore is fairly limited. Okay, let's ask about Ogun Badagis. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? It is a voodoo lore, is it not? Yes, a particularly nasty one, so I understand. Have you come across anything about it in your research? He seems to be feared by most Voodoo groups. I haven't come across very much specific information. Interesting. Uh, let's ask about it further. Do you know anything else about Ogun Badagri? I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about that. Okay, so Black Voodoo? Do you know anything about Black Voodoo? My library contains many books on the occult and religions. And I have read about some particularly evil voodoo cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. Okay, uh, let's ask again. Do you know anything about black voodoo? I don't know anything that would help our current situation. No, um, he would definitely know what a Schadenjäger is. I'm going to ask this and find out what the mystery of a Schadenjäger is. Without using Google. Which I didn't. So, Schattenjäger. What can you tell me about Schattenjägers? Yes, of course. I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schattenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schatten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes. Shadow Hunter. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's awesome, he's a Shadow Hunter. That sounds awesome. Which, shouldn't we be hunting, you know, him? Because he's all Shadow and such. Even so, that's awesome. Shadow Hunter. Really good TV series pilot happening right now. Anywho, uh, let's ask more about Schattenjäger. Tell me more about Schattenjägers. Uh, we Ritters have been Schattenjägers for many centuries. No one is sure when it began or how, but... We have records of ancestors as early as the 13th century fulfilling this role. Some believe that the role was given us when... Ah. But such fantasies cannot be of use to you at the moment, Gabriel. Yes, I think so. We should ask more further about it. You never know. Tell me more about Schattenjägers. Most people are completely blind to the fact that evil does exist. It is out of vogue at the present, but I tell you... Shadows of darkness, spirits, vampires, witches, demons. These things are real. It is to their advantage that the world has become so scientific, so cynical. But we know they exist, Gabriel. And we hunt them. How do we hunt them? And why? Why? Because it is our duty. We are the ones who know, Gabriel. As for how... That is something you will have to learn, but uh, it is not easily explained over the phone. I think we have time. Let's, let's ask further about it. Tell me more about Schattenjägers. Mm, well, we can talk more about that later, Gabriel. For now, you know enough. I don't think so, but okay. Um, Radha drums. Do you know anything about Radha drums? Radha drums? You mean ceremonial drums? 
Yes. The Gedi tribe uses drummers around the French Quarter as relay messengers to keep track of their business. Hmm. Those drums have a ceremonial use, too. It would be useful to know their code, Gabriel. I had Grace find some information on them. That's my boy. Yay! Though you should really thank Grace, because she's the one who found the book, but yay! Um, drums. Do you know anything about Rada drums? I don't know anything that could help you with that code, Gabriel. Okay, um, I'll ask about himself, who... He's got the ponytail thing going and that, you know, wavy, messy hair. Kind of looks like Gabriel's hair. Huh. <sighs> yep. Apparently messy hair is something that follows in the tree. Anywho, himself. Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel, after this is all over. For now... We must deal with the matter at hand. No, I need to know about you right now. Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for- Damn it. Okay, Tetlo. Let's talk about Tetlo. Tell me about Tetlo. Tetlo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetlo, is now the primary lore for the Geddy tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. Do you remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelow was possessed by her father's lower during the killings in Charleston? This sounds similar, but Tetelow has obviously become a much more powerful lower than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the talisman. Okay, so either that or she is really pissed at the family. I'm gonna say really pissed. Just me. Just my opinion. But let's ask more about Tetlo. Tell me more about Tetelo. I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. Their religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? The spirit she has become, that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetela bears little resemblance to the woman Tetela was before the burning in Charleston. He... Really good chance. Any more? Tell me more about Tetelo. She once was a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. Yeah, you know, I totally understand if she's very bent on revenge since she got betrayed. I would totally understand that. Plus, woman's wrath, you know. Us women like to be really, you know, revengeful and evil sometimes. Some, not all times. Anywho, I'm rambling. Tetelo again. Tell me more about Tetelo. She once was a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve... Okay, we're done with that then. Talisman. Let's talk about the talisman. <sighs> I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings, and in my dreams. It was in the family for centuries before Tetelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Chatanieda itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Chatanieda swore to use the power for good, never for evil. For defense, not offense. Since it fell into Tetelo's hands, I'm afraid to think what the power has been used for or what it will be used for in the future. With the talisman, Tetlo has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. Huzzah. Okay, let's ask more about the talisman. How can we regain the talisman? We've been searching for the talisman for years, ever since we lost it. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. The talisman is probably buried with Tetelo's remains. That's what gives her lore so much power. In other words, we need to go to the graveyard and dig her remains up. That's what they're saying. Let's ask more about the talisman, though. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once again in the hands of the Schattenjägers. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. We'll double check. Is it the most no. Uh, her remains. How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ha! 
We have pondered that question a long time, the Ritters. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe at their current location. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetlo's African homeland, but Gunter says so little in his journal about her tribe, and slaving records are practically non-existent. Also, Tetlo's tribe was utterly destroyed in its African form in the late 17th century. There was nothing like a census in Africa then. As for the other idea, we had no clue as to where Tetlo's people went after fleeing Charleston until now. Okay. Well, let's ask more about the remains. How would we find Tetelo's remains again? We must locate the tribe's original African homeland. Her remains might be there, or they might be in New Orleans, buried among her descendants. Good 90% chance they're in New Orleans, at the cemetery, where the funky angels are. Just a good hunch. Anywho, Tetelo's remains once more. How would we find Tetelo's remains again? We must locate... Okay, same thing. Um, African homeland. Let's discuss the possible African homeland. All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him. He thinks the tribe's name was Agri, and that they lived near the Fon tribe, in what is now called the People's Republic of Benin. That is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Stay low. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibility that Tetler's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine Schattenjäger, but only if you are not dead. Sure, I'll wait. Bye then, Gabriel, and remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Goodbye, Uncle Wolfgang. Yay! Um, I get this feeling we need to go talk to his mom and be like, Mom, I talked to my uncle. And all this information. But we should tell Grace, I guess. Got any ideas, Grace? Yeah. Okay, same yes. thing. Um, uh, let's see any question-wise. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Uh, Schadenjäger. You can't tell me anything about... Nope. I'm guessing nothing's been updated. Because, yeah, that would have been updated. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, oh, before I forget, before I forget, I totally forgot to say, um, thank you guys for the comments. Uh, they actually helped me a lot with the drums and certain puzzles and that. I really appreciate it. I totally forgot to mention it in the last episode um, when I actually solved the drum puzzle. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the help. Uh, there was only one commenter. Well, there was a couple. Well, one only, pardon. But still, thank you guys for the comments. I really appreciate it, especially through a game that i have kind of going blind through. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the thanks. All the thanks just flow, like flying into your way. Anywho, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my series of Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. Let me know. Like, comment, as well as subscribe. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.